Brother, we have a question about medicine. It's very serious. Because we are Muslim and we are very merciful, I'm going to take and help you. What is the problem? Uh, brother, it says in the hadith that the Prophet was the most weak person in sexuality. And he invoked Allah and he sent a dish of shish kebab with Jibreel and after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men. Does that make sense to you? My friend, absolutely this is not the make sense. It makes sex, not sense. As you see, the hadith is speaking, not speaking about making sense, it's speaking about a miracle. The Prophet, he invoked Allah and Allah, he went to his kitchen and he made a spittle food for the Prophet. It was, at that case, spittle tasty kebab. Okay, so shish kebab, so if I eat shish kebab today, I will get the power of 40 men. Absolutely false. Because the shish kebab have to be made by Allah and delivered by Jibreel to be sure it is genuine. Okay, so if Jibreel deliver it, it's a genuine. If somebody else, like the pizza guy, something is false. Absolutely true. So we have to be sure that it's made by Allah and it said a thicker, the thicker said halal. I mean, I'm really convinced. Dr. Zaki Naik. Uh, 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 doctor, why the prophet after he ate it he got the power of 40? What not? Why not 41? You are very stupid. And I tell you all what you are very stupid. You did not see in the old story it said Alibaba and the 40 thief? Yes. Okay. Always there is a reason. They are 40 in all the stories. Because this is the perfect number. So the Prophet, he got the power of 40 men because he got the power of the 40 thieves which was with Alibaba. Oh. Uh, so the Prophet, he got the power of the 40 thieves. Absolutely. Because they are thieves, it's very well known that thieves are have a very special hygiene quality on sex. Boom, boom. And because of that, the Prophet, he got the power of 40 thieves who used to work with Alibaba. Okay. Well, I, I never thought about this before. Absolutely must be true. I told you, I invite you right now to convert to Islam and to say Tahada. Uh, brother, can I invoke Allah and ask him to do something? Because I have the same problem as the Prophet he do. Absolutely, you are a liar. And I know that you don't suffer from that problem. How you know? It's something private, sexuality. How you know I don't suffer from this problem? I can tell you from your voice. You are a liar and go call me again.